Hi Plus Two, this is Jean of Monticello Stitches. It's been a while since I've posted anything. It is uh, May the 15th, 16th, 17th, whatever the Sunday is. And it's been a couple of months since I posted. The last time I did, I think I just finished my um, Nashville Needlework show. And uh, I have been busy since then, even though I haven't shown you anything. So I thought I'd catch up a little bit and let you know what's been going on. Um, first of all, I wanted to say my friends who watch me told me that my voice just puts them to sleep, that they love to listen to me speak before they go to bed. So if you want to follow along, get a cup of coffee. If not, get a pillow and go to sleep. <laughs> So, sorry to find out how dull and uninteresting I am, but apparently my voice puts a lot of people out. Um, when I went to the Nashville show, a couple of gals came in from Just Cross Stitch Magazine and approached me about something that they want to do in their magazine as an upcoming series. Apparently, a lot of their subscribers really miss um, samplers. And so they were looking around at various designers and people who do samplers um, and wanted to offer designers the chance to put something in one of their issues. And they did that for me. So I've been really busy working on that. Um, I was uh, able to select the month I want to um, offer my design. I chose February of 2023 and I've been working hard I've just completed the design and completed the stitch and it's now ready to mail the wonderful thing about the whole thing is the design had um, size parameters of 70 by 100 stitches which is great that was very doable and pretty quick I tend to make my stuff way too big I don't know why I do that I just always keep going and going when probably I should stop but um, real excited. So February of next year, take a look at Just Cross Stitch Magazine. I used to subscribe years ago, more than 25 years ago. Um, and then I didn't do cross stitch for a long time, but I have gotten a new uh, issue. It's, uh, it's under new ownership since when I was subscribing a long time ago. But um, can't wait to see what the other people do too. So there'll be a few sampler offerings in the magazine. Another thing I've been working on is stitching some things that are not my own designs. Um, I really like Hands Across the Sea samplers and I've been stitching, oh heck, what's the name of it? It's one of their newest designs. It's about a memory something and I loved it and it was going along great guns and I miscounted so I got to frog back. I'll try to find a picture and stick it in here and let you know which one it is. But it is beautiful and it's kind of big too. But um, their samplers can be pretty big but they're very satisfying and so beautiful. Another thing I've been working on is uh, a departure from cross stitch which is Needlepoint. I like. I really like everything with a needle and thread. And a friend of mine sent me a picture of a pillow and said, "Hey, I like this. Can you sort of duplicate this or get inspired?" And so I said, "I'd, I'd try." So anyway, that's what I've been doing. And um, in Needlepoint, there's basically a slanted stitch, like a half cross stitch, and everything goes in the same direction. Well, if you don't have good light, you can start going in the other direction on the same piece. So that's what I did in two areas on this ding-dong thing. And um, I've had to frog it out. So that's another thing I've been doing. Ugh, I hate to take things out. And then in the meantime, of a friend of ours, a, a young man we watched grow up, got married in South Florida uh, about a week ago. And so um, I'd really not ever spend any time down that way. 
of course, when I was working for the airline, I was in and out, but in and out is not really spending time. So the wedding was in South Florida, and we went down a week early and um, went to Key West. I'd never been to Key West. So beautiful. I loved it. Um, the old part's just my favorite part. We went to Hemingway's house. That was really the best. Um, if you haven't been, you got to go. It was where Hemingway lived with his second wife, and then she stayed there after their divorce, and he moved on to Idaho, I think. But um, it's pretty fascinating. The, the house is really old, and um, he was given a cat, a six-toed cat by a ship's captain, and there are still descendants of that six-toed cat there. And when we were there, there were 58 of them on the property. And they come and go inside and outside. It's really quite beautiful and so interesting. It's privately owned. It's not a, a state-run thing. And it was just fascinating. They've got so much of the original furnishings. And um, there was a little house in the back where he wrote. It's really great. If you have a chance, go. Another thing that was just kind of crazy to me uh, was to realize that Hemingway ended his life at 61, which now that I'm 65, I think that is way too young. I always look at these iconic literature people, presidents like Roosevelt, and all, they're always so much older and wiser and it kind of floored me to think that I had outlived them now. <laughs> they did. They must have done a lot more living in their times than perhaps I did. I, I don't think they liked cross stitch. <laughs> so anyway, but that was kind of interesting. Sixty one is not old at all, and he certainly Hemingway certainly packed a lot of living into those years and a lot of genius writing. So my goal is to now read some Hemingway. I've the only thing I read is Snows of Kilimanjaro, so I'm going to read some because they really did talk a lot about his um, economy of words. He would try to say whatever it was he was going to write in the least words possible, which I greatly admire. <laughs> so that was pretty good. And another interesting thing we saw was Harry Truman's White House, which I had no clue there was such a thing down there. Um, it was on the old part of the old naval base, and it was like a White House away from the White House. And that was really fascinating. But overall, Key West is beautiful. The old part kind of reminded me of Charleston or Beaufort, all my favorite places. The architecture is so beautiful. Of course, there's a lot of concrete block architecture, too. <laughs> Not so beautiful, but the old part was just lovely. And um, got to watch the sun go down like you do. And it's just really nice. And my friend's wedding was just a friend's child's wedding. He's not a child. He's 34. But it was such a joyful time after watching that young man grow up. He used to babysit my son. So we had a special relationship with him. And um, I've never seen such a joyful family at a wedding. They were all so happy. Uh, the sisters, the parents, they all just danced their shoes off. It was it's really great. Kind of restores your faith in good things. So that's good. Um, let's see if I got all my stuff. I think that's it. I'm going to try to post more. I have, I'm going to participate in the Needlework Expo again in August. So I have some things I'm working on. I've completed a new thing. Well, actually, I've completed several new things, but I have completed and framed something. I've got to frame two other things and get them into chart form. So it's possible I could have as many as three things, hopefully more. But um, they do take a lot of time. and But I'm continually inspired to make something new. So that's, that's still good. But... Um, Again, thanks y'all for following me when you do. I'm sorry I've been away so long. I hope you're all having a good time wherever you are and happily stitching along. 
uh, I really did get interested in needlepoint again, so I'm going to do some more of that. That's really great because it's basically a half cross stitch, so it takes you half the time that a full cross stitch takes, so that's good. But thank you so much, and uh, have a great afternoon wherever you are. Thanks.